This is Matthew Perosi with the Jeweler Website Advisory Group coming to you from Nice, France. I am atop the Chateau of, of Nice. This typically would have been a waterfall, but it is turned off uh, today. And I'm overlooking the beautiful city. It's a, a great day here as I, as I tour around, and I'm taking time to answer some questions that have come in through my uh, Jeweler Website Advisory Group uh, Facebook page, as well as uh, directly emailed to me from my Facebook friends. I have on my iPad here a question from uh, Lee Krumholtz from Krumholtz Jewelers in Cincinnati, Ohio. He asks, I have heard various opinions about the value of web, uh, of web posts that occur using linked posting. In other words, having your Facebook, Twitter, and blog uh, connected, and when you post to one, it auto posts to the other. Is it weighted more in search engines when they are all posted separately from their separate accounts? All right. First of all, I don't recommend having all of your accounts tied together so that they always post one to the other. You should just pick one of them to feed Twitter, but don't have Twitter feed back to, to the other one. So feed your uh, blog post to Twitter, feed your Facebook to Twitter, but don't go from Twitter back to either one of those. Now, also from the, for the past year in my own office, we've been managing a very specific uh, WordPress website. And with this website, we have only had a one single linking strategy, and that is every time we make a post, we go onto Twitter and we tell Twitter about, about that post. Now, since we've uh, created this, we have three or four Twitter, Twitter uh, or tweets that uh, link back to the, the WordPress blog. But so far in the past year, uh, this strategy of linking has not worked at all. Uh, the page rank of the website is still zero. We don't see the, the uh, website even showing up in the Google indices. So the, the entire strategy uh, for just Twitter linking, we feel is not worth anything in terms of search engine optimization. However, Twitter is good to bring customers to your website because I see all the time through Google Analytics that people are uh, visiting the, web, uh, the individual websites that we manage via uh, Twitter posts. So uh, even for the smallest websites, we usually see one or two visitors coming from Twitter every month. So in that respect, getting you traffic and getting you customers, Twitter is good. For search engine optimization, it's worthless. Okay, uh, blog posting um, is definitely a good strategy, but you need the right strategy. It does, not, it does not pay at all to have your website put into the footer of of several blogs so that you can generate a lot of inbound inbound links because it's going to be the same anchor, tech, anchor text and it's better to have different anchor text in each one of uh, in each individual blog post. Okay, so when you're linking from from a blog, you should be linking from the inside of, of the body of the blog and not from and not from the uh, the footer of the of the blog all the time. And it needs to look like natural linking, so you would be using uh, different types of anchor text in the links and not always the same word. If it's the same word that eventually works that eventually works against you. The anchor text should be jewelry specific words but occasionally you can use a domain name, occasionally you can even use the words click here. It's all part of the the organic uh, search engine uh, uh, strategy. Now I recently saw, um, saw a site with less than a thousand inbound links and many of them were from different uh, blogs and they were all natural blogs and that website had a page rank of three. Now at the same time I also recently saw a jewelry uh, website that had more than 157,000 links that were all coming from various blogs and it was all from the same anchor text in the footer of, the, of these blogs. That website only had a page rank of three. And you would think that with 157,000 links or more, you would be at least a page rank of five, but that wasn't the case. So that, that strategy is really a wrong strategy. Okay, now on to Facebook. Uh, Lee, since you asked the right question, I'm going to reward you and everyone else watching this with something that we've only recently discovered and recently proved. And we've only been able to prove it uh, in the past eight days because Google just finally gave us some new tools that we can prove this with. All right, what have we been able to prove? Well, we've been able to prove that sharing links from Facebook has a lot of weight in Google. So when you copy a URL from your website and you put it into a, a Facebook status update, that becomes a shared link. And those shared links all build up and they show up on your, on your ranking. They show up as, as reciprocal links that go back to uh, your website. Um, 
I don't really know why this has such a such a good value, but it is it seems to be better than even a, a typical blog post. Uh, so if you can get people to individually share links from your website to uh, their Facebooks, then you can create an organic strategy, a, a socially networked strategy of building links uh, through uh, various Facebook profiles. Uh, all right, now the other thing that you could do is to make the, that link sharing easier is on every one of the pages of your website, you should put a Facebook share button. And that will allow people to, without without being coaxed otherwise, they could see the share button and say, oh, you know what, I'll share this. I did enjoy it. I did like it. I will, I will put it onto my Facebook. So click the share button, write a comment, and, and it, gets, it gets posted. Now, if you want to see an example of what I'm actually talking about, I do have a demo website online which actually illustrates this, and that's why it's there. Uh, it is perosijewelers.com. Now, that's my last name in the American spelling of the word jeweler. So it's uh, P E R O S I J E W E L E R S.com. Perosijewelers.com. Go into the jewelry section and look at the individual items. Uh, in the jewelry catalog and you'll see that each one has a Facebook comment box, each one has a Facebook like box and that allows people to easily click them and share them over to their Facebooks. All right, uh, Lee, you also asked if there was a weighted difference between posting from the, these systems. As I said, don't cross-link them uh, repetitively because you're going to end up sh oversharing. Um, but what we, what I don't know is if uh, if sharing from one to the other is, is any better or worse than if you were to manual, manually share them. I haven't seen any research in that, I haven't done, done any studies in that. But I do know that there is a weighted difference based on IP addresses. So if you have a, if you have a blog which is on one IP address, the links from that blog going to your other IP address that may have your website are more valuable than if your blog is on the same IP address uh, if your blog is a different website, but yet on the same IP address as your business website. In other words, that's a shared hosting environment where you have multiple domain names on a single, on a single IP address. Uh, if you have individual IP addresses, which usually cost more money in hosting, then you could have, let's say, 100 links coming from one blog over to your, over to your site, and that's going to be a lot more valuable than if you were to get a thousand links from a shared hosting environment where there are multiple domain names and, and you have a, a thousand links coming from either multiple domain names or from one, one site or, uh, on that shared hosting environment. Uh, so uh, there is a, a, a weighted better value for websites that have a single IP address. And if you're out there looking to get links from other people, look and see if it's a shared hosting environment because that, at least we know that is more valuable than, than uh, um, places that are just server farms that have multiple sites on single IP addresses. All right, uh, Lee, thank you for the question. Uh, if uh, anyone would like more information about the Jeweler Website Advisory Group and our various education programs, our daily emails, please visit our website. It is, it is www.jwag.biz. That's www.jwag.biz. This is Matthew Perosi. I'll see you next time.